Hi, I'm Julie O'Claire. Welcome to Parents TV. Whether it's an allergy, lactose intolerance, or just a picky eater, there are many reasons why some children don't get enough calcium through dairy. Well, joining us today is registered dietitian Tanya Zuckerbrot to talk about some great milk alternatives. And Tanya is the author of the F Factor Diet. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure, Julie. So we hear it all the time that milk is so important for kids, but why so? Well, milk is necessary for strong bones. As a matter of fact, by the time you're done with your teen years, you've put away probably 50% of what you need for the rest of your life. So those formative years of childhood are really important for getting enough calcium. And as far as the requirements for calcium go, for children's ages one to three, um, it's recommended that children get around 500 milligrams of calcium. From ages four to eight, you're aiming for 800 milligrams of calcium. And then the really important years, those teen years, from ages nine to 18, it's 1300 milligrams of calcium, which is actually a higher recommended daily amount than even for adults. So those teen years are really important, but that's why you gotta begin um, with your children when they're young to introduce these calcium rich foods so that it's a habit they stick with throughout their teens. What about kids who don't like milk or just don't drink enough of it or maybe don't eat a lot of dairy products? Yes. Uh, how do they, are they getting enough? Um, they're, they're not mo um, most of the time. For example, a lot of times when children, toddlers especially, drop their bottles, that's the last time they're going to drink milk. And then they tend to go for more sugary drinks such as juice or soda. Um, studies show that most teenage girls, in fact, 85% are not meeting the RDA for calcium and 60% of boys are not meeting the RDA either. So today we're going to go over some really easy and delicious ways of getting some calcium into your kids. Okay, so you've got some food here that has a lot of calcium in it. It's easy to incorporate right. into the diet. Tell us what you have. Well, the first group are dairy foods, and that's because the easiest way to get calcium into your diet is to rely on the dairy foods. Um, those inherently have the most calcium, but if plain milk is not an option, if your kids are refusing it, what I found as a mother myself is that my children love the flavored milk. Mm -hmm. And even though there is slightly more sugar than in regular milk, due to the flavorings, it's still a lot less sugar than juice or soda. And with these flavored milks, and here we have an example of banana, chocolate, but there's vanilla and there's strawberry. Mm -hmm. For one container, you're getting 300 milligrams of calcium. That's it's really a good dose it's, there. It's, it's a lot. Um, yogurt's another great source of calcium. You can get 300 milligrams from yogurt as well. And string cheese. One of those uh, string cheese contain around 150 milligrams of calcium. And this is a cheese a lot of kids love, and it's easy to stick into the lunchbox. Absolutely. Well, my daughter just loves the string cheese. She can't get enough of it. My son is allergic to milk, so he needs to eat things that have calcium in them uh, that aren't dairy foods, and you have some examples of that. We do. Beginning with vegetables, um, here's an example of sweet potato, and this is going to have around 90 milligrams of calcium. Broccoli and spinach are also other high calcium vegetables. As far as fruits go, raisins naturally contain calcium. Um, around two-thirds of a cup of raisins will give you approximately 60 milligrams of calcium, and then you have edamame. Edamame is a love great that. source, and kids love mm -hmm. edamame. If you get them to them in the pods, they like to pop them in your mouth, right. or even deshelled. I mean, it's just it's a great, great addition to the diet, and you're going to get around 150 milligrams of calcium from getting from edamame. And you can also incorporate foods that are enriched with calcium too. Yes, and this brings us to our next group um, of foods that don't naturally contain calcium but are fortified. And here we have orange juice. A container of orange juice around a cup is going to give you 300 milligrams of calcium, which is the exact same amount as a cup of milk. So that's huge if, you know, you're, when you're giving your child beverages. Think about the calcium fortified orange juice um, as an alternative to milk. And then we have a cereal here, Golden Grams. Believe it or not, if you see here, they have a good source of calcium on the box. And if you serve this with a cup of milk, you can get as much as 350 milligrams of calcium into your child. So think about even breakfast foods. Between right. the orange juice and the golden grams, you're meeting half the RDA. You're doing pretty um, well And then there. if you're looking for something a little salty, a little you know, crunchy, mm -hmm. cheese it. You know, made with cheese, that's also going to have some calcium in it, around 60 milligrams of calcium. Okay, now what about supplements? If your child doesn't like any of these things, can you give them something else to... You can give your child a calcium supplement or a multivitamin that's going to have calcium, but studies do show that um, the bioavailability of calcium from supplements is not as high as from food, so always think food first. If you're that concerned, of course you could always supplement, but we're going to show you some really easy examples of a breakfast and a lunch that you're going to meet all of your calcium needs through foods alone. So it really is quite simple to do. And when you're using foods, you're also getting many other benefits such as vitamins and nutrients and fiber and other things that kids need. Okay, let's start with the breakfast you were talking about here. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is a breakfast with, which is some um, oatmeal and we've made this with some um, skim milk. So mm -hmm. you're getting the calcium from the oatmeal and the milk served with a cup of yogurt and some of this calcium fortified orange juice. And this breakfast has 850 milligrams of calcium. Wow, that's fantastic. So that's a day's worth. It's a day's worth just a breakfast. You don't even have to worry for the rest you of the day. You would not have to worry. However, you can have it in, lunch, in your lunch too. Tell us about what yes. you have here. And this is, this is great. This is a sandwich made with calcium fortified bread. Mm -hmm. now, I think a lot of people don't think of bread as a source of calcium, but if you find the right brands, and this one's you know marketed just for kids, uh, this has around 160 milligrams of calcium per slice. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a lot. The kids so love white bread. We are making a sandwich that's right 320 milligrams. Um, and we serve some edamame, mm -hmm. and here we have some chocolate soy milk. My son's so favorite. This, is a, <laughs> this would be a perfect lunch actually for your son, who mm -hmm. you said um, is lactose intolerant, because there is no dairy items in here. Um, all the calcium are coming from fortified foods and foods that naturally contain calcium. So here you have the chocolate soy milk, and here you have graham crackers, and graham crackers are also a good source of calcium. Tanya, thank you so much. All great ideas for yep. moms who just don't know what to do to get more calcium into their kids' diets. Thank you for oh, coming in. it's my pleasure. In. Great to meet you. Thank you. And thank you for watching Parents TV, your source for the best information for your growing family. Thank you for watching Parents TV, our families, our lives.